Hey everyone, before this video starts, I do want to say yes, I am really bad at this game. And that could be why I really didn't enjoy this game and made some of the opinions I said about this game. I do just want to go ahead and admit that before getting into the video. Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here, and today we're talking about the one and only Mario Golf Super Rush. Now, some of you saw me stream this game and... <laughs> There was a lot of memes going, there was a lot of comments about how I was playing the game, and um, yeah, it's one week later, I've played a lot of the game, I'm here to review what I think of the game. Okay, so, <laughs> I couldn't get past the first stage in the story mode. I played that level 12 times, and the tutorial presentation trying to explain you how to play the golf game is absolutely awful. They don't really show you how to do it like they show pictures but you know how games will be like all right now that you know how to do this let's make sure you're you're good on doing this move mario golf super rush doesn't do any of that you're just going in there yolo after seeing these pictures and you're just hoping for the best this game is absolutely awful with the tutorial thing most of the sports games i play will have a better tutorial system this game is absolutely awful with the tutorial system. And like I said, I couldn't get past the first part of the story mode. Now, I don't feel like the story mode is that important to this game since, well, it's golfing. Yes, that is probably the only, that, that is the only single player content in this game is the story mode. But I feel what actually is the most important features of this game is the online functionality and all the modes that come with it. So, I do want to just briefly talk about the story mode before we get into the other stuff. I only think the story mode... So, okay. I heard the story mode was a very unfinished thing for people on Twitter. I don't know how true that is. I do just want to come on and say I couldn't get past the first part of the story. And the reason why is because they picked... You, you have to play as your me. And the me is probably the worst character out of the entire game because you have to level up to increase your stats. Uh, I learned about this when I was playing with Tenology and the gang over there. And I was absolutely awful with the me. When I played a different character, let's say Mario, I was actually somewhat pretty good at the game. But when it came to playing the me's in this, it was absolutely awful. It was an unfair advantage towards the CPUs because these CPUs, they're playing the good characters. They have the better stats because with the Miis, their stats are the lowest character out of the entire Mario Golf roster, I believe, because you have to level up the character to get the better stats. And I think that was absolutely awful. There should have been a set limit stats because I think that was the reason why it was so difficult for me to get past the first part of the Mario Golf story. That and also the awful tutorial explaining system. I actually hate the tutorial in this game. That brings me up to another bad thing about this game. The UI aim meter is absolutely terrible. It will show you on the meter where the hole is and I will hit exactly that and it gets nowhere there to where the hole is or it goes way over it. I use the recommended golf clubs that they tell you from each turn because they always change them up after you get closer and closer to the hole. And it, <laughs> it was mad. I don't know what in the world this game's UI is. I'm curious to know for those who own the game, did you guys experience these issues? Because I have hit where the hole said the meter was so many times and it either went way over it or nowhere close to it. And that's using the recommended golf club. I'm not switching the clubs, I'm, I'm doing the ones that the game tells me I should do. So as you can see, that's, that's my single player review so far. I wish I could get past the first level. And I, I know that's probably bad for a review, but I've played a decent amount of online with this and I tried eight times to get past the first level, and that's really long, I'm just telling you, <laughs> because the, you have to do nine holes, and I'm basing the same thing, I'm seeing the exact same thing every single time. I don't think the single player story mode really matters for this game anyway, 
So I don't think it's really important for me to know all of that going in. But I do... I don't know. I, I feel like you should know that you start with the me. And the me has the worst stats because you have to level up. I'm curious to know if any other people that played the story mode had issues. And what you thought of the story mode. Now we're going into what I consider the actual fun part of the game. I played a lot of speed golf and battle golf with friends of mine. Speed golf, I think, is such an amazing mode. I absolutely had so much fun with that mode. It's so cool that there's such an original idea that you hit the golf club and then you have all these power-ups around the map and then that you can speed up, get to the golf ball faster than your opponents, try to get it in there before everyone else. I thought that was a really fun game mode. Speed golf is pretty much the main thing of this whole game. Uh, they definitely utilize it. You can you can do normal golf if that's what you want, but speed golf is the thing that they're going to be promoting the crap out of when you play this game. My understanding is the and when you do the single player mode, the story mode, what I mean, is the entire game is based off speed golf. When you play golf, you're playing speed golf in the story mode. You're not playing your traditional normal golf. There is a setting where you know you can play with friends and I guess CPUs probably, but you if you're doing the story mode, you are doing speed golf. I think it would have been cool if you could somehow do options to maybe switch what type of golf you want to play in the story mode because not everyone's going to like speed golf all right so one of my favorite modes of the entire game was battle golf on mario golf i had so much fun with that with my friends basically you're on a stage i believe there was either nine or ten golf holes and you had to hit three of them to win against four players whoever was the first to hit three won and there was a lot of fun, a lot of competition, a lot of fun with that mode. Uh, I had so much fun with that. I would like to see more stages with that mode because my understanding was that there was only one because every time we were trying to see if we could switch the stages, there was only one. And I will say that one stage looks really cool, but it'd be nice if there was multiple different stages. It could be because we didn't get past the story mode, at least because we were playing with my room, and that might be why, you know, we didn't have much to, you know, switch for battle golf. But I do know throughout all of the entire modes of the game, other than battle golf from my understanding, there's a lot of stages, a lot of golf courses that you can do, a lot of fun there. All right, so this brings me to, I guess, towards closer to the end of the video. I don't think this game right here is worth $60. Uh, if you're watching this video and this is a game that somewhat interests you, I would hold out on it. The Mario Golf games always go on sale. Good example is Mario Tennis Aces. This game this year went on sale for $25. And I know a lot of people don't think Nintendo games go on sale, and that is kind of true. Nintendo Golf games will go on, or not golf games, Nintendo Sport games will go on sale. I've kept a close eye on this forever. And they always put the sports titles that Nintendo comes out with on sale for at least $40 to $30. And I'm actually surprised that this was $25 at one point. So I bet by the end of the year you will see Mario Golf go for $40, at maybe during Black Friday actually. My best advice, don't pick this up for $60. Wait for a price drop. A lot of my comments in the live streams were saying that too, and I definitely got to agree with that. The price is not worth 60 That also could be because I didn't have that much fun with the solo story mode of the game. And maybe I'm just bad at the game. That could be why I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't get past the first stage of the entire game. So I'm definitely bad at Mario Golf story mode. But I really feel like it was because of the me. Because anytime I was playing with a different character, I was doing so well. So that brings us to the review score of the game. I'm going to be honest. I had a lot of hype for Mario Golf Super Rush. But I was just so disappointed with a lot of the features that this game offered in the story mode. I had a lot of fun with the online mode, playing with friends. Having that time with friends, there was so much fun there. But if you're looking at this as a single player game or just don't have any friends that have this game, 
I really don't think this game's for you. Not to mention, you know, the fact that we haven't had a Mario Golf game in years, I really would have thought this would have been really tight, really fun. And it's fun with friends, but this game promotes a lot of single player stuff. And I feel like the single player solo story mode is, it's not that fun, especially because I can't get past the first stage. So with all of that in mind, I'm gonna have to give Mario Golf Super Rush. I'm scared to say it because I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna like what I'm about to say. A five out of 10. That's the lowest I've ever game a, gave a Nintendo Switch game in a very, I don't know, I think that is the lowest rating I've gave for a Nintendo Switch game. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid a lot of people aren't gonna like my opinion. And it's justifiable because at the end of the day, I'm just bad at Mario Golf. At least I'm bad at playing as the me. I feel like when I'm playing other characters, I'm pretty somewhat good. And when I'm not trusting that awful UI, that awful UI is just, don't even trust it. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's, there's some issues with this game. There's a lot of issues. I wanna know what you're thinking. Uh, do you think my opinion is justifiable? Do you think it's, should I even have made a video on this with how bad I was in the single player? I want to know what everyone here is thinking. It's been your boy Monado Max. I've been talking for way too much. Make sure to check out my Discord server in the description below and follow me on Twitter. Backslash that subscribe button and like the video. Once again, I want to know everything you thought of what I had to say with this video. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. I, I'm all here for debates. I want to know what you guys think. Did I say the right things? Because um, th this was a tricky game to review because there was a lot of issues with me playing this game with, in terms of getting past stuff. And I've never really had that happen before in a video game where the first stage took me eight tries. <laughs> Anyways, I've been talking for too much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.